Yeah, you know, I got a text after um, what had happened and, and it, I remember that week and I cried because I was like, this is the game that, you know, for anybody who had played in the game, we we dreamed of it going to different places. And this was the conversation around this beautiful game and the amazing players that we have, especially in this league. And then I got a text and then I had a call with Merritt. And it was two hours, emotional, honest, real, authentic. And that really started it. Because if you know me, it starts with the why. Right, it starts with the why and Merritt being the way that he was and seeing him in a space where he was like just himself, truly himself. It was probably the first step for me because it was the first time that I'd seen him in that way. And to see where the league was right now and the conversations that were happening, it was breaking my heart. And if that was where that conversation started, it was real, it was true. And for me, I was like, okay. <laughs> Maybe I am interested. And we went and I got to speak with different staff members to see where they were, see where the club is, people first. I'm going to represent so many different things with integrity, with honesty, with truth. And I'm not going to be here and be the check mark. <laughs> and that was one of the honest conversations I had is that, yeah, okay, let's hire a woman to be a GM. I'm like, ah, no. I am who I am, and I, I, no matter what job I've done, I've done it, hopefully people know that, I've done it for the real reasons, and that's why I started with the why, because this is personal, and I want to still be able, when my daughter asks me 10, 20 years from mom, mommy, what did you do when? I can tell her what I did. Mommy, how did you handle this? I can tell her how I handle it, and I'll be proud of the way I did it, and the fact that now I get to be in the governing roles, I get to be at that table, have that seat at the table where we discuss the real issues of this league. And I can say, hey, as a player, this is how it felt. This is how the players are feeling. But I can understand where we need to go. I can only say I'm gonna show up authentically myself. I've asked a lot of questions coming in. Don't get me wrong, I haven't just come in and said, oh, cool, let's move forward. Um, I've come in and asked a lot of questions and said, how could we be better? Where can we do this and that? Um, and in due time, I'll tell that story, but this isn't the time. I think the most important thing right now is to acknowledge where we are, what we've done well, and what we need to be better at, and move forward with the mindset of being leading in a way that women's football needs to be led. And I'm saying that with the sensitivities of everything that's gone on. And I'm saying that with the sensitivities of knowing what players have been through, knowing it's personal to me because I've been through things too. And it's not saying that what I've been through or what they, it's just every woman soccer player knows how this feels. Because whether it's somebody they know or they've been through it themselves, but I think how we move forward on this is to listen, to make sure that everyone feels seen and heard in this process, and then come together because everyone wants this game to grow. We can't, we can't step back from where women's football has grown. We can pause, learn, reflect, but I think everyone in this conversation wants the game to keep moving forward and to growing. So I think the conversations need to be have been mindful and sensitive to everything that's happened and then figure out how you move forward with growth. Because I think everyone will say like, if you've been through a tough moment in life or any of us, it's almost like that's when you like get to come in, connect, reset and rise. And I think that's where the league is. That's where we are. But we have to do it with integrity. We have to do it with compassion. We have to do it being very clear that everyone needs to come together. We need everyone. But I think it's a time and it's a moment in time where you have to decide where you want to be, how you want to go forward, and who you want to go forward with. And I think for me, um, I want to go forward with the right people. I want to go forward with the right culture. 
I want to go forward being transparent and truthful and authentic. And I want to be a part of the conversation that takes this club where we've never been before.